So I wanted to see if I could get this thing going with the uh, Bedini circuit. And there it is from Daft Man. Um, it's not really tuned. Uh, the, the coil is too high. Uh, it's too high off, off the ground. Um, if I unscrew it and push it closer, this thing flies. Uh, here, let me see if I can do that really quick. Let me turn it off. Here, let me pause it. There it goes. So as you can see, I've got the two lights. They're 120 volt lights. I have it, one going off for the charging battery and one where the neon bulb is. And you probably can't see that, but they're flashing like crazy. The coil stays nice and cool. So does the, um, uh, the transistor. The resistors, on the other hand, I've got a, um, a 100 ohm, 5% resistor, the way you call it. It gets hot, but it seems all right. Um, I also tried this with that other little setup I had. I don't know if you guys remembered, I had the, the, the two rotors set up, and that, that works really nice. So if I get this, and, and again, this coil is a little too high, but it does work. And um, from the last setup, that goofy solenoid setup I had, I still have not adjusted um, the spiral yet. I want to adjust it and bring it in tighter, get more torque before I start doing anything. And I have the four rotors on there now. I'll shut this off. I have the four rotors. These are these are N52 7878 cylinders. I used to just have the two. Now I have the four. And this guy is in back in um, repel mode. Where I have south and south facing each other. Let's give it another spin. <laughs> Sounds like that guy might be loose under there. I don't know. So I still got a lot more work to do. I figured I'd just... I, I, I wanted to always try to get this going with the Bedini, the Bedini circuit. And there it is. Thank you, Daphman. And it goes pretty nice. I did, like I said, try it with the other setup, and it was really wild. It was really flying, and that was at 5 volts, so I'm excited about that. This is 12 volts. Just wanted to show you that it does, does get it going. This resist, this um, variable resistor is kind of a, I don't know, kind of a joke. It, this thing, this particular setup only works. Camera ran out. I was talking about this um, variable resistor. In this particular setup, doesn't really do much. I have to have it turned all the way up. I can adjust it down a little bit. And as soon as this light cuts off, the neon bulb, this guy stops. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's because I have a bulb on here instead of a charging battery. The um, transistor doesn't get hot. This doesn't get hot. That guy, you know, it's actually pretty cool right now. Coil doesn't get hot. The coil I made with the um, iron filings I told you that I get from my local garage, say by filer about, you know, probably about 800 turns. All right. So there's my new four rotor setup. I'm going to close, or I'm going to collapse the spiral tighter and figure out why this thing is making this weird noise. But I now have it set up where I have access to the spiral itself, or to the rotor itself, with, with this guy, so I can do stuff with that. Which is my ultimate goal, put a gear on here, run a little DC generator fire it back into the system 
see if I can get a complete circuit. All right. There it is. Still gonna put some coils around here. Just loosely wound coils. All right, ciao.